welcome to the weekend vlog. This is a super special weekend. Why? I am finally, after five years of friendship. It's been that long? Yes. Wow. Getting to meet Kim from a girl on her phone in person. We are so excited. We are stoked. We cannot wait. We are stuck in the parking lot. <laughs> Oops. Whoops, wrong turn in a parking lot. Um, so our hotel is about 10 minutes from Kim's house. So super excited. Um, we are going thrifting today and we are going downtown Kannapolis. So I'm excited. I am so excited. I don't know what else to say, except I'm so excited. <laughs> so you will see the adventures of us um, in this vlog and yeah, I can't wait. You excited? I'm excited. Doug's excited too. So, because I mean, you know, he sees Kim's videos and hears me talk about her and hears us talking on the phone all the time. And I think him and David will get along splendidly actually. So, here we go. Here we are. Oh my goodness. And they're out on the porch. Oh, you can't even see. Crazy excited! Crazy excited! I told him about this. I don't have any of it. Did you have to film it? I know it's gonna. Is that like we gotta film it? I can't believe it's been five years. It's been five, five, years. five years. That's amazing. Right when I started my channel, then I went to the group. Yes, and that's it. Wow. And I think she had a lot to do with me starting my channel. Probably yeah. did. You did videos before me, but you just... I just did them for the fam. Yes, and then we... <laughs> so, this girl is taking me to all her favorite haunts and our first stop in Salisbury. Salisbury. Salisbury is the Salvation Army store and you've heard her talk about that all the time where they have their 49 cent days so we're gonna go see what we can find although my eye is drawn to those beautiful ferns at the food line I told Doug that I want um, two big ferns on my porch for the summer so gotta find those somewhere closer to him and I are getting ready for a throwdown because you know we both want these shoes so bad I'm getting them. No, I I'll fight you right now. <laughs> Let's do it. We don't even know what size they are. <laughs> if she wins and gets these, these will be perfect for bread baking. <laughs> bread baking shoes? <laughs> okay, Kim gave up the spiky boots to me because she found these for herself. Whoa. Baby. Yeah, uh huh. Can you see her parading around her house in these? David's getting all hot and bothered already. Uh huh. He is. He's like, yeah, baby. Here is stop number two. Stop number one was a pretty big bust. Kim bought one little 49 cent Halloween decoration. I bought nothing, but who knows what we can score in here. Came out with treasures. <laughs> and what else did we come out with? Where's Doug? Show them, show them. Cheer wine. We had to taste it while we were down here. So Kim said it's really good here because it's in the um, cold box and they have it in glass, glass bottles that doesn't have corn syrup in it. So <laughs> I, told, I, if a, I told her she's on vacation. Quit reading. If I've got to drink something <laughs> like that. Oh, it's got everything else in it. Don't get me wrong. But there, at least there was no yeah. corn syrup in it. <laughs> so it was actually palatable. It tastes like a mix of Dr. Pepper and Terry Cola. So we tried cheer wine, but quite happy. Doug bought a crap ton of Catholic books and I bought a red basket for here, eggs. Put your stuff in this hospital bag. Oh, here we go. So, so now we are at Nazareth, Nazareth and this is a thrift store where all of the proceeds go towards a children's hospital home. um children's home I'm sorry and they have this we're in the housewares room and everything in this room this is only the first aisle my friends everything in this room is 50% off today um they've got so much stuff 
and I've I've really I've really contained myself because there's so many things I could grab and I'm I'm being good being very good okay we are in town to walk around town but it's not gonna be a leisurely stroll why isn't it gonna be a leisurely stroll Kim what why? Why isn't isn't it going to be a leisurely stroll through town? Because of all weekends, we're having a St. Patrick's Festival, and it is crawling with drunken leprechauns. <laughs> <laughs> and none of us have green on, so we're going to stick out like sore thumbs. <laughs> yes, everybody had on green. Yes. They've got all the roads closed. There's all kind of tents and vendors and all kind of cool stuff. Of course, we didn't think to wear green. We are all in, Doug's in maroon, I'm in blue. And Kim's in yellow and David's in black. So yeah, I will show you what we do. says that this is Canapolis's claim to fame. Is this where he was born? Yes. Dale Earnhardt, who is a NASCAR driver, yes. was born here. So there's this whole big plaza that is dedicated to him and a statue in the middle. So this is where we're going to meet Holly. So we're going to go in and have a seat. Oh, these holly bushes are beautiful. It's a nice little park. Lots of benches and there's the statue right in the middle. Doug wants to know why he's not in a race car, why he's just standing there. A bit of video Kim videoing. <laughs> She's giving a close up of the statue. I just did a It is more than life size, it is. And there's David, Mr. Smooth. Oh, is that the ballpark right there? Kim saw that a pizza place for the St. Patrick's Day weekend was having a Reuben pizza. So, you know, if you know my husband, we had to have Reuben pizza and it is good. But for the boring people, <laughs> there we go. Boring plain pepperoni. We are going to go into... B and K Tea Cafe. Of course we are. So here are the creations. Oh my goodness. This is a strawberry milk tea with strawberry boba. Kim has a... <laughs> Kim's cheating. Kim does not have tea. Kim has no, coffee I, it, milk tea. Well, that's tea. It's just coffee flavored. Oh, okay. So it, it is tea. It is tea. But you know the girl had to get her coffee in there. <laughs> you know I So, didn't. yeah. So we will, Doug and I will report back and let you know how this is. We are in the Spice and Tea Exchange. And, okay. you know, doing a little bit of damage. Not too much. Not too much. We are in a little antique mall. There's all little like rooms, little booths, and everybody has their own. Wait till Kim sees this one. There's Al stuff in this one, several things. But it's like a consignment boutique for antiques and lots of really cute stuff. I'm not sure if I, I know Kim picked up a few things. I haven't picked up a few, anything yet. I love this lamp though. How cool is that? I really like that. Not bad either. Not sure where I'd put it, but I like it. Oh, I love this hutch too. They have a lot of beautiful things in here.
Okay, we just left Kim's. We just hung around and chit-chatted with her and David and Nathan and Holly and Jacob. And now we are heading to Sunny's for some barbecue. You have heard Kim talk about this and I am excited because, oh, ribs are calling my name. I'm going <laughs> to record Kim recording. <laughs> we, we are... Let me... We are, you can't see this thing, but we're bringing her I did to Sinees. That up there. Hold on. We're bringing her to Sinees. We're going to get her some ribs. I don't know what Doug's going to get. Ribs. Oh, ribs. Oh, yeah. that's the way to go. David's going to get wings. Ooh. Yep. So, we're going to get loose. We're going to go in here and get us some food. Yes. You go. Okay, my dinner at Sunny's is a half a rack of baby back ribs green beans and a sweet potato. Doug got ribs, wings, tater tots, and coleslaw. And Kim beans got, by accident. And beans by accident. <laughs> Kim got french fries and ribs. And tater salad. Oh, and tater salad. <laughs> and what did you get? You got double wings. Double wings. And just like me, got a sweet potato. But he got beans. Y'all know how I feel about beans. I said y'all, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Kim got a little upset when I ordered unsweet <laughs> unsweetened tea. If looks could kill, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have made it to dinner because I ordered unsweet tea. What kind of tea did I order? Regular. Regular. Or what real tea. See, that's right, she ordered real tea and the girl knew exactly what she was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the boba tea nearly rotted my teeth out. <laughs> I couldn't chance it again, okay? I cannot wait to dig it. Good Sunday morning. We are up, dressed, and headed to Mass. We found um, a church that's only six minutes, six minutes away. away. Um, and it's so funny, we put it in the GPS and it just popped up. St. Joseph's Church is closed today. <laughs> I mean, they mean the offices, not the church. Um, there's a 9.30 Mass in English and an 11 o'clock Mass in Spanish. So we are going to the 9.30 in English. That just suits us a little bit better. Um, I've been to a Spanish Mass before, and Mass is Mass, so you can follow along. You just really, I can't respond because my Spanish is bad. Um, so after that, we are going to check out. It's very late, it is at noon. So we didn't have to um, scurry around this morning packing up. We're gonna come back uh, after Mass, get everything packed up. I told Doug I wanted to kind of pack a separate bag for tonight um, we are gonna probably drive up to the Richmond area tonight and stay overnight and finish the drive tomorrow um, just because we don't really want to drive at night and all that so I'm just gonna pack a small bag with only what we need for the morning and that's not gonna be a lot because in the morning I'm gonna be wearing leggings and <laughs> Like an oversized t-shirt. Not going to worry about hair or anything like that. So it'll be a small bag. It'll just be easier. Um, we tried a new suitcase this time and I really don't love it. Um, it was given to us. It's a nice suitcase. And it would be fine if we were staying somewhere for a week because it has like different levels. But because we've only been at each hotel two nights and we kind of just lived out of the suitcase, it's been a pain in the butt. And I overpacked. I wasn't sure what the weather was going to be. Um, so that's about that. Like I said, we are only a few minutes from the church. Once we get back and check out, we're going to head back to David and Kim. We're going to have lunch with them at the fish camp. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And we're going to go to the grocery store because I am not allowed to leave here without Nisa's sausage and liver mush. That's for Andrew. And Kim's insisting that I also buy some hug jowls. So we will see, my friends. But we had such a good time yesterday. Oh my gosh, last night at dinner. How much did we laugh? A lot. <laughs> we just laughed and laughed and laughed and just had a really good time. Um, you know, David may seem quiet on the videos, but he's very sociable and, and lots of fun. So. Um, he's not as quiet as he seems on the videos and they probably said the same thing about him yeah, probably. <laughs> but 
we do. We had such a great time. So looking forward to some more fun today before we have to hit the road and go back to reality. And we have a crazy week next week, so really busy. But anyway, that is that. I will be back in a bit. Well, <laughs> we're having an issue this weekend with um, places. So we get to the church. Parking lot is packed. And we look in the windows and people are standing and I'm like, we're 10 minutes early. No, they decided to start mass at nine o'clock because apparently the pastor here is not feeling well and they brought in a visiting priest who wanted to do it at nine. And I guess all the powers that be, you know, like if you're a parishioner, they probably send out an email. Like that's what our, I mean, we never change mass times, but if you're a parishioner, they probably send out an email saying, hey, mass times are temporarily changed. Well, we just went by the internet. <laughs> You know their website and mass was at 9 not 9 30 so we are dropping back 10 yards and punting there's another catholic church completely on the other side that's at 11 but that's going to mess up our checkout so i'm not sure what we're going to do got to figure this out hey we are trying again we are now at saint james the greater right. then your church will be on the left um it was only about 15 minutes away, I guess. Yeah. So not bad at all. Just in the other direction. So hopefully we are here on time. On time. According to the Your website, is on the it is 11 o'clock mass. We'll see. Okay, we are done at church. Oh my goodness. It was a huge church. It was big and very, very lots of people. Um, but I think it's probably the only Catholic church in that part of town. So that's probably why. Um, but nice mass, real sweet priest. And now we are waiting to meet David and Kim at the fish camp. I wasn't sure what to expect, honestly. Like you hear fish camp and you think like a tent outdoors or something, but it's like a regular restaurant. So let me turn you around and show you. It, um, and I think, I think there's a couple around, but I guess this is their favorite one. It's called the Mayflower Seafood Restaurant. And we are going to just go in and, oh, guess what? They just pulled up. They just pulled up. They're right there. So they got princess parking. Yeah. So they are here. So here is where we are going. Hey. How y'all doing? Perfect timing. Yeah, we're going to get it done here. All right. <laughs> You're scaring me. Ah, uh, it's going to be good. You're going to like it. Well, I was really afraid that Kim was going to beat me up. She said, it's bad enough. I ordered unsweetened iced tea. I had to order something fried. So I have fried flounder and shrimp with a baked potato. Doug has fried trout and onion rings. David has fried flounder and a baked potato. And Miss Kim has... Catfish strips. Catfish strips and okra. And I'm going to get Jones. Um, I'm going to make her eat one of these on camera. Look, we'll they know what they call salt and pepper catfish strips. Yeah, that's salt and pepper. See how it looks. Oh, yeah, on the outside. Okay. Yeah. What? Wait, you're going to make me what? Okra? I might like it. I might not. We'll see. But we are going to dig into this fried feast. Well, I had my fish camp experience. It was very good, and I actually, you saw, I actually got fried. Um, I just felt like I had to. When in Rome, it was huge. You saw that. I ate one piece of the fish, and I think three of the shrimp, and my baked potato, and that is it. I just, I was afraid with Trader traveling and stuff, and I was very satisfied. Um, Doug, Doug's was delicious too? Yes, it was. Yeah, so. So now we are heading to, we're following Kim. I'm not sure if we're going back to her house or going right to Food Lion so we can get some Nisa sausage. Um, but yeah, sadly our time together is coming to an end. It has been so much fun. And like Kim and I said, like we don't, we, we feel like we've known each other forever. Like we don't, like, you know, I see her videos, so I see her house. I knew exactly what to expect with her house. And, and you know, like I saw her chair that she's always sitting in. And it just feels, and we talk almost every day on the phone. So 
it just was such don't th- you think like I it was just yeah, like was hanging so, out with people that we hang out with was, all the time it was so natural yeah absolutely. yeah so it was really good and we've got major plans for when they get their butts up our way oh yeah i got you we are oh yeah i said that in the car i think we are going to food i've never been in a food line oh this is your first time in a food line yes it is and what are we getting sausage nisa sausage <laughs> and liver mush and liver mush for andrew and not for me gels, hopefully yes she's forcing me to buy hog gels well andrew said he'd eat them but i have to prepare them oh but this is what bacon <laughs> We'll try it. We'll try it. I'm game for anything. Let me tell you this. If you can do your chicken, you can do a little bit of it. Exactly. <laughs> if you can kill a chicken and then still eat it, you can eat a home jail. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going Challenge in. accepted. Okay. Here we go. We've got the niece's liver mush. Oh my goodness. Oh God, it feels funny. So there it goes. That's for Andrew. And then here is the sausage. That is what Doug and I are getting, the Nisa's Country Sausage. Wait till you see what we just put in the cart. So in addition to the Nisa's Sausage, see this? It's not bacon, it is hog jowls. They assure me that it's exactly like bacon. Yes, so we're, it don't taste like bacon, it's the same texture as bacon. But it's like bacon, but it has a flavor all its own. So we're excited. It's we're excited to try it. You know, that's what life's about is trying fun new things. So next Saturday morning for breakfast, this will be in the frying pan. All good things must come to an must end. Come must, to come to an end. No, must come to a pause. A break. A pause. That's it, a pause. We have got major plans for when they come up. North. And it's all at the restaurants. That's yeah, oh my god, it's all food related. It is all food. Related. What do we say on our channels? You can have food as a treat, but you don't have to put your whole life around food. You can enjoy company without food. Well, no, because well we have had food all <laughs> but we, we have plans for food in New Jersey, but we also have plans for Lancaster shopping. The tea shop and the the beach. Yeah. See I called it the beach. The That's shore. right. Sure. I told him, you go down the shore and go on to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> right? Okay. Listen, she, she's tried to uh, um, acclimate to the southern way here, so I guess I'll have to do the dirty jurors. Yes, <laughs> and she will, and they will, and I just can't wait to take her to Lancaster, because... I'm going to have to follow her around with the camera because she's just going to freak out. <laughs> she's going to freak out. Where do we go to the bulk food stores? Oh, my gosh. I already told David a while back he better save his money because there will be some spending going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. We might have to rent a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a trailer back there. We'll just have to take the pickup truck up there. That's it. That's oh, it. my gosh. They'll be buying furniture. Oh, yeah. Amish furniture. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We always buy furniture. And we need a new piece for our hallway. So. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> never know you never know but what a fantastic visit what beautiful gracious hosts yes i mean yes a great visit i'm not saying we're great <laughs> they are beautiful <laughs> gracious. no it, no they are beautiful gracious hosts Absolutely. and you know like i said it's just like I, I don't know i just feel like like you're a friend from jersey who we're just hanging out like oh, it's so familiar it's weird oh, it, it is yeah. very familiar you know and i never understood when my kids would say oh it's a friend i met online like that i game with or whatever right. and i'm like you can't have a friend online. oh my gosh and, and let me tell you andrew throws it back in my face constantly oh, oh. <laughs> constantly now about kim <laughs> So, you can't have a friend online. Exactly. So it's, you don't it's, know what they're like. You don't know who they are. It, it's just unbelievable. It really was. Yeah, it really it's was. like like we've always yep. each other. been yeah. around each other. Yeah. Yeah. And I did so well on the drive. Who knows when we'll be popping back down here? And boy, she's oh. got this one to talking. I said that, didn't I say That's that? Right, yeah. When I was vlogging in the car, I'm like, listen, you people. You might think David's all quiet and stuff. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. I did. I said it in my vlog. Listen, these two have talked more than me and her have talked. Oh, there you go. Haven't they? Yeah, yeah we've had good discussions. Yes. Because we are focused on shopping. Yeah. <laughs> and Doug was focused on being outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where's Doug? Outside. outside. <laughs> but it was awesome. It was yeah. awesome. When I get home, I will show you my treasures from the... Uh, the, the, yeah, Nazareth. 
from yeah, and I bought something somewhere else too. I think the other stores. I forget, but I will definitely show you our thrifted treasures, and I'm sure Kim will too. Oh yes, I have a haul on my channel with my. We might have some long videos. Y'all might That's be at okay. the end of an hour right now. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. We'll see. It's all good though. They can't wait. That's right. They can't wait. They got part one. They got Adam's track meet. So. Right. Right. <laughs> Now the good part. <laughs> and you know what? I don't even know where your camera is. I don't even know if I'm looking at it. It's over there. I, I never, oh. I get yelled at. People yell at me for not looking at the camera because I look straight ahead at me. I don't look at the camera. Yes. Well, I, my you know, camera's not, on that side. That's why I'm looking over oh, okay, there. Okay, yeah. The camera, see that green Hello. dot? <laughs> but I never look at the camera and I get yelled at all the time. But you know what? I'm not a professional. Who cares? I'm not a professional. So, that's if it. If you don't like her not looking at the camera, shut your eyes and just listen. There you go. <laughs> So we are going to hit the road. We are driving up to about Richmond, Virginia tonight and spending the night. Then back to the Dirty Jurors tomorrow. Back to business as usual. Business as usual. I, I feel like I need a detox. <laughs> Right. We have loaded her full of fried foods. I, I didn't eat much today. I mean, I, I ate. No, that wasn't fried last night. Last no. night you nope. did good. Nope. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I had a really. vegetables. I feel like I had a really good weekend. I don't eating. think you ate too bad. Nope. Not at all. And we didn't, I didn't have a lot of junk. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Nope. nope. So. Didn't, ex didn't exercise at all, but. Yeah. yeah. We walked. We, hey, we walked we a lot. We strolled. We strolled. Well, hey, it was a lot of stroll. That's me. right. It was still movement. That's right. It was still movement. This girl hung on, let me tell you. <laughs> Thank God there's new knees. If it wasn't for them new knees, it wouldn't have happened. We would have been pushing in a wheelchair. Yes, you would have. And that's okay, too. Yes, you would have. <laughs> so that's it. We are hitting the road. We will see you when we get to our destination. Yep. See you when I see you. So we are back on the road, going through the beautiful state of North Carolina. We're going to be in North Carolina for quite a bit, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. So we are just listening to some tunes on the radio, and I am working on answering comments because I didn't, I haven't done anything all week with that. So getting some stuff done, and I think when I'm done the comments, I may start working a little bit on the menu for April. I have this guy held captive. So I can pick his brain and see what he's in the mood for. I also have to start planning out Easter. So, got some things to keep me busy. You can't really see the sign, but it just shows we are getting closer to home. It's a wahawa. We're not going to be home till tomorrow, but oh, this makes me feel good. Seeing a wahawa. Okay, we are stopping for the night. Uh, we are in Richmond, Virginia. We're about four... A less than four hours, probably. Yeah, about four hours from home, but we're tired. Doug's tired. It's starting to get dark, so we are going to call it a night. And in the same parking lot of our hotel... Well, not... The hotel is next to a shopping center, and the shopping center is a huge Goodwill, so... But they're closed on Mondays. They're closed right now. <laughs> but tomorrow morning before we leave, right? We'll be popping some tags. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody even knows what that means. Probably not. Let me know below if you know what he's talking about. We're going to pop some tags. Another night, another hotel room. We are up. We have eaten. We finished up the last of the food we brought with us. And we are showered on the road, but we're not on the road quite yet. We are stop. Oh, we can't see. Stopping at the Goodwill. It's a huge Goodwill. And it was literally like, I don't know, a quarter of a block from our hotel. So we're going to run in there and see if we can find any good treasures. And then we're going to hit the road.
man, Goodwill is getting too expensive to shop in. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. It's expensive. Oh. Sorry, I opened my own door, hon. He likes to be a gentleman. But anyway, um, what did I get? I'll show you real quick because I won't hold this. I did get a donut pan. I have one donut pan and all the recipes I make with the babies are for like a dozen. So we always have to redo it. So that was a good price. I even looked it up on Amazon. And then I bought a pair of pants. They are very not me. They're actually capris. Check them out. Aren't they cute? Way out of my comfort zone. But now they are petite, so I, I hope they fit okay. Um, I hope they're not too short. But because I am right at that cusp between a regular and a petite and I generally go regular but we'll see they were dirt cheap because they were a yellow tag so yellow tags were like 75% off but everything else seemed really expensive I saw a couple things and I love when they have stuff so organized and it was a very organized store all the clothes are in colors which then you have to go through everything like I the thrift stores at home generally do it in size, so I can go right to like a medium and look through the rack. Here, you have to look through everything, and I just, I wasn't in the mood today. I think I'm just ready to get home. Oh, there we go. Now we're focused. Look what I see. In a corner there is the Washington right stand, Monument. We are in Washington, D.C. And that means we are about two hours from home depending on the traffic. And I believe that rotunda right there, is that the Jefferson right, Memorial? Yes, that rotunda is the Jefferson Memorial, I believe if I'm wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me, uh, but I believe that that's what that is. Continue Almost wish we uh, had some time to stop and see some sights in DC. You know what, I think we need to plan that trip. With everything life has thrown at us these days, I think I'm gonna stop saying when we have time, when we have time, and just start doing. We are getting closer to home. We are heading into the Baltimore Harbor Tunnel. And you know, if you watch my videos, how I feel about tunnels. So I am going to put the camera down and just pray. <sighs> that wasn't bad at all. So we are on the other side of the Harbor Tunnel. We are so close to home. An hour and 20 more to go. I can feel it. Okay, finally a familiar sight. We are just minutes from home. It's been a long trip, but I'm kind of proud of myself. I don't usually handle car rides too well. What well, do you think, you Mr. Doug? Well. I think you did really well. I did. I really did. Um, yes. Got a lot accomplished and yeah, feeling good. So we will be pulling in in about three minutes. Uh, about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, we've got so much stuff to unload. But Andrew already said honk when we get there and he will come out and he will be happy to help us. And... And we get to see our doggy. Our dog and our cat and all the chickens. So, whoa. Whoa, I thought that girl was gonna pull right out in front of us. Yeah, I'm loving it, girl. I don't think she saw you, but here we go. Oh, finally. Home sweet home. Oh, we came home to hyacinths blooming and daffodils blooming and forsythia blooming. Oh, I love it. While we were away, the girls were quite, quite busy. I think there's like... There's over 120. I know that. No, there can't be that many. Yeah. No, there is. Think about it. We got close. Andrew thinks there's over 120. I will count them because some of them, we had a couple broken in the box, so some of them are nasty, but I need to... um get all the nice, clean, good ones boxed up because we got customers waiting. Okay, before I close out this vlog, number one, Andrew was wrong. There was a hundred, little over, there were 99 eggs, 
couple of them were broken so we did get over 100 eggs but not 120 while we were gone um so our egg customers will be very happy that we're back but i just wanted to show you some of the things that we picked up while we were away so we picked up you know we went to you saw us go to the spice and tea exchange so i picked up some lady gray la creme black tea it is so good i love earl gray and i love lady gray I picked up some rosemary because we were completely out. I picked up half an ounce of lavender. This is for my London Fog Lattes. Some hazelnut cookie black tea. Some cardamom pods because I am almost out and I use this when I make my homemade chai lattes. Warm bread pudding black tea. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So good. And then I screwed up. Shocking. I wanted creme brulee black tea and I bought creme brulee green, green tea. It's fine. I'll drink it. I just want, I prefer black tea. And then um, because I guess I bought, I don't know, so much or whatever, I got a free tea. Um, it is a super citrus mint herbal tea i think i'll hang on to this and make a uh, sun tea out of it this summer because it's not something i would drink hot so that was my little haul from the spice and tea exchange and then you know we went to a couple thrift stores so let me show you. oh no let me show you first what kim gave me she had messaged me and said hey i have these things they're going to I'm going to take them to the thrift store unless you want them. She had a whole bunch. She knows I love Pampered Chef Baking Stones. And she had a whole bunch of them that someone gifted to her. And the ones that she wasn't going to use, she was going to pass on to me. So out of four of them, I took two of them. One of them is this. It is a 13 by 11 and 3 quarter by 1 and a half inch. It's kind of flat. This will be perfect for a pizza sourdough crust pizza or cookies or anything i love it love it love it and then oh the other one's down so the this counter. one is a covered baker this will be perfect for a um one of my mini or small or sourdough for two uh bowls so that will be perfect for that so thank you kimmy um then i'll show you our thrift store purchases so the first place was the nazareth thrift store you've heard kim talk about that and all of their housewares were 50 percent off so i picked up a couple things we break egg slicers like nobody's business around here because i use them for more than eggs i use them for mushrooms and all and they always break no matter what quality i buy if i buy a cheap one they break if i buy an expensive one they break they just do so i found a pampered chef one there it was a dollar, but it was half price. So it was 50 cents. So perfect. Cause I've broken two of these already. Then they had these cute little prep bowls. I have some already and I do like these. We like these to put um, dips in like individual dips. I like them when I do a picky plate to put my yogurt in. Great for portion control and just great for prep when I'm filming a video. And I like to have things pre-measured. They were $1.50, but half price, 75 cents. Then I thought this was the steal of the day. If you have plants, you know that planters are super expensive, especially pots that are very pretty or, you know, not plastic. <laughs> Even at Ikea, like I spend probably more than I should, but I refuse to spend a lot of money on plants. Like I've seen some planters that were like 25 bucks, no way. Well, I found this gorgeous white one. And if you've seen, you've seen my plant, um, you've seen my plant stand and I have all like white ceramic ones. This still has the tag on it, 1998. But I think it may have had a flower in it for that price, I do, so. But it was $3 on sale for $1.50 score and the last thing i bought there was for my sister um this cookbook plant over processed she is a vegan um and i saw it and i thought it looked like a good cookbook and they are health vegans not ethical vegans so like they don't eat any 
of the um any of the processed vegan food like they don't eat the beyond burgers or any of the pro like any of that stuff um they eat all plant-based like she makes her own black bean burgers they don't buy them she makes her own vegan cheese they do not buy vegan cheese things like that she they they're health-based vegans so got that for her and that was it from nazareth then we went to the um, Restore. What's that? Habitat for Humanity Restore. And Doug made out like a bandit in the book section. He found so many Catholic books for like 50 cents and a dollar. The Catholic Bible Study Handbook. And you know, he runs a Bible study. Perfect. 50 cents. Celebrating the Saints Devotional Readings for Saints Days. It is brand new. It's never been opened. It is brand new. That was a dollar. It's hardback. The How-To Book of Catholic Devotions. Um, it explains each devotion and why we do it. Walks you through the process and everything. That was 50 cents. It's really, really actually cool. Um, it talks about like Eucharistic devotions and fasting and has all kind of prayers and things in it so pick that up for 50 cents and then he picked up a book by robert Barron, very famous catholic author called catholicism a journey to the heart of the faith and that was a dollar so just stuff that he can use upon his deacon journey i'm sure and i mean we're all catholic in this house so we will add them to our catholic bookshelf um, I also bought this wire basket. I like to store my eggs in wire baskets um, just so they breathe. And I thought this one was really cute. And you know I change my kitchen colors. Right now it's reddish maroonish, but then in the spring it's blue. So this will definitely be a um, fall basket, but it's nice and big too. So I thought that for a dollar was really cute. And then I saw this, and this is something we use because we've tried every natural thing on the planet and nothing works. <laughs> so, yes, sometimes we do resort to chemicals. Um, it is outdoor cleaner. The back of our house does not get enough sun to dry it, I guess. And we get green algae on the back of our home and it makes me crazy. And we've used this before. You just hook it up to your hose and it dilutes and you spray it on the house. The algae comes off and it keeps the algae off for several years, actually. So the best thing in the world to use? Nope. But you know what? Sometimes you've tried everything else. Short of renting scaffolding and climbing up there with a scrub brush. Not doing that nope so we will use this um i'm trying to see if it says anything no but works great so that is is that all we bought at the thrift stores i think so i think, so. I think that's it um last but not least you saw kim took us to food lion so we could get some pork jowls and some Nisa sausage and we did we got two packages of pork jowls I hope we like them man they're cheap so she said we cook it just like bacon so we will they're smoked pork jowls cook and serve so we'll give those a try and we got two things of Denise's sausage. I was going to make sausage biscuits and gravy with it, but I want to be able to really taste the sausage since, you know, it's so good, says Kim. And I believe her. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just uh, slice it and cook it up like that and have sausage with our eggs. And then the last thing we got, liver mush. It's liver pudding. I think it's the exact same thing that we have here that we call Scrapple that Andrew likes. So he will be the one testing this out because Doug and I do not care for Scrapple. So I think that is 
it. That is it. That is what our treasures were from the weekend. I already showed you my donut pan and the capris I bought today when we went to that Goodwill. Um, looking around. Oh, no, I can't show you the thing I got at the Christmas shop because if Andrew watches this, he'll see it. So you'll see that at Christmas time. Um, and that's it. And that is going to end this vlog because we got a lot of crap to put away. Yeah, we do. A lot of crap to put away. Um, and we just need to get ourselves rested and ready for the week ahead. We have a super busy week. Um, I know you guys are all praying for Doug and we complete, ugh, you have no idea how much we appreciate that. Say some extra prayers because, well, you're seeing this on Tuesday. So he had his scans this morning. Um, every couple weeks they do CAT scans to make sure that nothing new has popped up or that the cancer has not spread. Um, it's a very anxious time until we have the scans and hear the results. So please, please say a few extra prayers that they are completely clear. That's what we're hoping for. Um, and then they will alter treatment if they need to or whatever. So if you would do that, we'd appreciate it. Those scans are, well, by the time you're seeing this, the scans are done. Um, the scans are Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. And then he has chemo on Wednesday. And then he has disconnect on Friday. Friday and I'm not sure what else is going on with and he's got school I've got meetings so we are jumping right back in and that's okay ha, we had a great week I, I can't even tell you how much fun we had um, the track meet was wonderful and just seeing Adam crush it and just spending a little time with him and Bella and hanging out with a couple of his friends at the meet and then of course seeing my girl Kim that was a one and that that was just wonderful um and i will be on her butt until they schedule a trip up here that's for sure so thank you so very much for watching and make sure you check out kim's vlog and because she'll probably have a different perspective than i do so thanks again and guys i will see you in my next video